you believe I have a, a lunch, it's like noon now, a lunch on the restaurant which is there. It's a very, very, a very cool restaurant on, uh, on, on the top of the Invalides, which is uh, cool and you can have a terrace and it's raining in Paris today. So uh, no, no outside today, but if you come to Paris you should check uh, this restaurant if you like uh, the Eiffel Tower. So uh, I thought I, could, I would do my podcast here. And I forgot completely yesterday to, uh, to, to put a video of Matthias Lufkens about the theme of uh, Davos 2008. So here you go, Matthias, is, uh, is your turn. And uh, give me your uh, thoughts about uh, what do you think should be the theme of uh, Davos? Thanks. So Matthias, what's happening here? Uh, what's happening here? We had a very, very good uh, brainstorming dinner about the Davos 208. It's uh, amazing how we get serious already. Uh, hi, Didier. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, th I thought you wanted you want to put it on the blog. Yeah, or not? no, no. This is for my podcast. This is for your podcast. So. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> so, so, so what's the theme of uh, Davos 8? What is the theme of Davos 8? Listen, we don't know yet. The theme will be, you know, developed in brainstorming sessions like this. Do you need here. help from the bloggers? We need help from the bloggers. So if you have ideas about what the theme of Davos 208 should be, that is six months from now. If you have an idea, just, you know, blog it, email it, We SMS find you on it. Facebook, right? You can find me personally on Facebook. You can find the World Economic Forum yes, on Facebook. Matthias Lufkens, as you can see, on Facebook. And you can YouTube. find... You can find the World Economic Forum on YouTube, youtube.com slash World Economic Forum in one word. So send us your videos. Um, and you can find us also on, I think I've forgotten some, of course, our own forum. So we can forum submit blog. themes for the, for the Davos. So I, can we get invited uh, by the World Economic that, Forum? That is, that is a bit tricky because <laughs> Davos is very small. You know, I'd love to invite you know, the whole world. But it's not the Web3 the web where you invite 2,000 bloggers. Unfortunately, we're limited to fewer people than that. But... Uh, uh, okay, anyway, we'll submit films. Well, we will, we will definitely open up the conversation again on the Davos Conversation pages, davosconversation.org. So, uh, that's and more videos page. this year, right? More videos. So, you know, watch us on YouTube and uh, Vpod and Juiced and uh, Daily Motion. And Second and Life. Second Life, of course. Cool. Thanks, Matthias. Here we go. So, um, the other uh, uh, topic uh, that was to my mind today is the... Uh, uh, World of Warcraft addiction. I, uh, I, I bumped into a, a very good friend of mine, Thierry Grimaud, who is completely addicted. The entire family is addicted. So, uh, uh, it's, it's, is it, do you think, something that should be... Uh, is he sick? Is Thierry sick or not? Uh, playing like crazy World of Warcraft all the time? Um, or is it just okay? I, I, I have to say I've, I'm a bit concerned that my, uh, the marks of my uh, kid at school are uh, inversely uh, are proportional to the uh, opposite of his level at World of Warcraft, his level 70. So have a look at Thierry and what he says and tell me what you think uh, about this and hopefully it's, uh, we get a better weather next time in Paris. So I'm here with uh, Thierry Grimaud in a uh, terrace in, uh, in Paris. I don't know if you can see, it's uh, Port d'Auteuil. And, uh, and, and Thierry, you have a tie, but you, so you are in a very large corporation. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a very, very large corporation. And what are you doing every Friday night? On um, Friday, with my family, my three kids, seven, ten, and ten, we play World of Warcraft, and and with my wife too. And you play also every day? No, I, you... I personally play at least one hour every day. Oh, you log in every day, right? Yeah, but you have a time. I have a time. So it works well it together. Works. I can manage it. So you play. Set the... my mind. So you play the five of you together. Five of us. Everyone with a with a wall. My my wife is Hill. I am of course the warrior. We have a mago. We have a, we have a demonist, and one um, and the, the other one is, is a robber. So on what on what uh, kingdom? In Uldaman. <laughs> Uldaman. So fast. So tell me about it. How does it, how does it work to work with a family? I mean, first, your wife did not play, right? Uh, originally, my wife did not play, but uh, she's she likes computers. So when we she had the four freaks in, every morning at for breakfast, explaining uh, what they did the day before. Every morning. Decided, every morning, more or less. So she decided. So every morning, you were like talking about yeah, Warcraft. Geeks, pure geeks. 
so we were talk talking about... But like what? Like what do you talk about? Uh, what did you sell yesterday? What did you, what did you, <laughs> what did you craft yesterday? What the, what the monster you killed yesterday? <laughs> what leveled up? So and that's so the Grimo family yeah, uh, conversation. For, for breakfast in the morning. <laughs> and so she, she, she said, uh, now I need to do it too? Uh, I need to join. And she, she said, I need to join because I have to be in my, with my own family. And now she has... Uh, and she has, she is uh, ill uh, 57. 57? 57. <laughs> so you don't... After uh, four months of game. <laughs> so, and every every evening you do that? No, I do every evening. I play every evening. My wife, I be, I'm afraid too. Uh, and the kids, we try to, to constrain a little bit, to try to limit the kids. So, and you, you, see, you think it's uh, the way you play in Warcraft is like the company you work in? Uh, the management. I believe first it's like, so, the, like, like life, more or less. We have to agree upon a, a timing, we have to agree upon an appointment, we have to agree upon rules. And I think that's life first. And second, it looks like the business. Uh, if you play tank, you have responsibilities. If you play ill, you have responsibilities. If you fail, the team die. If you cheat and so on. You can, I mean, if you lie. If, if you lie, if you cheat, you you push out from the from the group, from the team. So, so what do you think you of cheat. what do you think about the kids who are like level 60 or 70 who manage guilds? Uh, who would, are, would I have would I have a kid of level 70 as my friend Loic? <laughs> no, no, but I, I mean, will be I will be very unsatisfied with that situation because no, of the no, lack but, of education. But I mean, but <laughs> what do you think like those 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 kids when they join a large company like yours? Uh, they don't think the my, same, right? My, my, can my you manage? Concern. Can you manage a kid who is uh, managing a guild of 40 people my, in World of Warcraft the same? My concern is that I don't think the head of a guild or of a red or 40 people can be managed as a as a newcomer in the company. This guy has real management skills, and he's not here just to just to photocopy or to make some tick marks behind a figure in an accounting from uh, an accounting Do firm. photocopies. He can do photocopies. The guy is a real boss. He's a boss. He's a boss. So he's young, but he's a boss already. How to manage him? So how to manage him? Tell me. <laughs> they want everything. The What's that the difference? They want everything that, in the instant, right? Uh, they, they want everything. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. It's a matter of time. It's a matter of uh, now, like immediately, now. right? It's yeah. a big trend. And then it's as a team no, as well. No, World of Warcraft is not not only uh, now. It's uh, it can be now. The answer you get from the group, from the builder, can be now. Uh, to go from to go up from now level one to level sixty or to level seventy is not just now. You have to you have to work. Hard. Would you would you consider uh, somebody who has a CV saying I'm level seventy better than uh, somebody else? Like in his CV, if he would say I have very very big uh, World of Warcraft skills. Uh, I will ask him about the, his capacity to to be excellent in World of Warcraft, but this will be uh, it will be a plus. It will be, be a plus. If he can, if he can manage a guild of 150 people, there is a plus for sure. There is no doubt about it. Why? This. Because to I don't know if you have played tried to be the leader of a group of 10 people who don't know each other. You only have your team speaker, you only have your mail. It just instructs them to do something. You will never get the results if you have no charism. A charism in a, on a computer is harder than charism in real life. So a guy can lead a group of 40 people on World of Warcraft. And he's 14, right? He's a, he, and he's 14, and you don't know he's 14. He's a real leader, a potential leader. You have to... So there's a gap, right, between two generations, you think? We won't, uh, they won't. I, I think that's part of the of the native, of the digital natives who will have to address. So the, the large companies have to adapt to this. Yeah. How do you think yeah. they will adapt to that? They won't. I don't know at the moment. They they will have they will have to. Uh, French companies uh, don't want. They don't realize. They believe American companies are maybe different, but uh, they will have to adapt. Thank you very much, Thierry. Good luck in your. Uh, what what level have you? Uh, What's I'm, the name of your avatar? My uh, sampler. 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 Okay. No fear. It means no fear. In okay. Level. Oh, police. And it's, le it's a war level 53. Thank you, Thierry.